Okay, so now in this video we will learn how to find the components of a vector. So here we can see a line. Let's name the line as L L dash. And we can also see a vector. Let's call it vector A. Now whenever we want to find the component of a vector, generally the component is along some line or along some plane. In this case, we will find the component of the vector A along the line L L dash. So to find the component from the head of the vector, we drop a line perpendicular to the line LL dash. From the tail of the vector also, we drop a line. These angles are 90 degrees. Then this vector over here is the component of the vector A along the line LL dash. So this is component of A vector along line l l dash similarly if we draw one more line over here again this angle is 90 degrees then this vector is the component of a vector perpendicular to the line this is component perpendicular to line l l dash we could also call this vector over here as the component of a vector along the line. So if this component is a1 vector, then this is also a1 vector. And the component perpendicular to the line will be, let's call it, a2 vector. Now as you can notice something, if I start moving along the a1 vector, a1 vector is ending over here, then from here I start moving along a2 vector. Then sum of these two vectors, a1 vector and a2 vector gives me the original vector a. So we could say that a vector is equal to a1 vector plus a2 vector. Or sum of components is equal to the original vector. Now let's say that this angle over here is theta. Then for this triangle over here, which is a 90 degree triangle, we could say a1 is equal to, a1 is the magnitude of a1 vector. So a1 is equal to a cos theta. And a2 will be equal to similarly a sin theta. So this is the component along the line and this is the component perpendicular to the line and theta is the angle between a vector and the line l l dash so let's take the vectors again this is the line l l dash this is the vector a then this is the component along the line this is also the component along the line these are a1 vector a1 vector now this is the component perpendicular to the line LL dash. So this is A2 vector and A1 is equal to A cos theta, A2 is equal to A sin theta. Now we know one property that sin theta and cos theta both are less than or equal to 1. So if you multiply a over here, then a sin theta will be less than a. a sin theta will be less than or equal to a. Or we could say that a2, a sin theta is a2. So a2 will be less than or equal to a. Similarly, a1 will also be less than or equal to a. So components of 
a vector r always less than or equal to the vector now let's discuss some special cases so the first case is when theta is equal to 0 that means the line and the vector are parallel so component along the line that is a1 equal to a cos 0 and cos 0 is 1 so a1 equal to a and component perpendicular to line that is a2 equal to a sin 0 so this will be 0 because sin 0 is 0 so the component of the vector will now be the vector itself if this is a vector this is a1 vector then a vector is equal to a1 vector the second special case is when theta is equal to pi by 2 or 90 degrees so if this is the line this is the vector a this is a vector then component along the line a1 is equal to a cos theta will be pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 so a1 is 0 a2 is equal to a sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 so a2 is equal to a so component perpendicular to the line will be same as the a vector so this is a2 vector and a2 vector is equal to a vector so let us say we got a vector a which is a displacement of 30 meter along northeast let's call this direction as east and this direction as north then this is the origin then the vector a will be let's say drawn like this this angle will be 45 degrees because the vector is along northeast this is a vector now again let's draw perpendicular from the head of a vector to the x axis and a perpendicular from the head of a vector to the y axis so these angles are 90 degrees then this is the component of a vector along east and this is the component of a vector along north we could also observe that component along north is also the component perpendicular to east and the component along east is also the component perpendicular to north so we could say that the displacement along east is this much and the displacement along north is this much again let's call this component along east as a1 vector and component perpendicular to east or the component along the north as a2 vector so a vector is equal to a1 vector plus a2 vector also a1 that is magnitude of a1 vector is equal to a cos 45 degrees and that will be equal to a by root 2 magnitude of a2 vector will be equal to a sin 45 degrees and that is equal to a by root 2 again now let's take a practical example to understand vector components but before that we need to learn about a new kind of a vector so this new vector you are already familiar with it's called area now here we got a rectangle this rectangle surface has got some area so it has got a magnitude this area vector also has direction right now this area is pointing towards you so you are able to see the entire surface area as i turn this rectangle the area that is visible to you has decreased now as i turn it now it is pointing 
perpendicular to the camera. So now you cannot see the area at all. This is a surface, it's a 2D object. So how can it be a vector? Let's understand. So this is your surface and the area vector will be perpendicular to the surface. Okay. So this surface area is the magnitude and the direction is perpendicular to the surface. So we got a vector now. Okay. Now, right now the vector is pointing directly towards you. So you are able to see the entire surface area. As I turn the surface, now the vector is pointing at some angle away from you. So what you are seeing is not the vector but a component of the vector. Now obviously component of a vector is smaller than the vector. So the area that is visible to you is less than the entire surface area. You are able to see a small, smaller area now. This is the entire area and right now you are seeing a smaller area. So if I turn it by 90 degree, now it is pointing 90 degrees away from you. So the vector is pointing in this direction, it's not pointing towards you. So the component of the vector towards you will be, let's say this vector is A. So the component towards you will be A cos 90 degrees. So cos 90 will be 0. So you're not able to see any area right now. Currently, you are able to see a smaller area. Now you're able to see the entire area because the vector is pointing towards you. 